Hey everyone, just wanted to get on real quick today and show you all how to use the new sky replacement feature in Photoshop 2020 and 2021. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open your image in Photoshop. I've got this wonderful image, but the sky is completely blown out. So we're going to go ahead and click the edit tab, scroll down to sky replacement. The first thing we're going to do for sake of ease is to import all of our skies into the sky replacement tool. To do that, you're going to click on the arrow button right here next to the sky. There are a number of skies already included in Photoshop tool. Um, you can scroll through those or you can upload your own skies. Um, today we're going to go ahead and import the entire Soulful Skies collection, our brand new Pretty Actions Sky and Cloud collection. So to do that, we're going to first create a folder, name it Soulful Skies, okay. and you want to go ahead and highlight this folder. If you don't highlight the folder, the skies will be imported, but they will be single skies not included in the folder. So make sure that the folder is highlighted, then go ahead and click the plus sign. Navigating here to the Soulful Skies cloud overlays. We're going to click on the first sky, hit Command A on a Mac to select all of them, Control A on a Windows computer to select all your skies, then go ahead and click Open, and Photoshop will start importing your sky overlays. This is going to take a few minutes, but we're going to go ahead and speed this up here. Okay, now that we have all the skies uploaded, we can go ahead and open the folder and start clicking through the sky presets to see which one we like on our image. As you can see, there is a natural sun flare that's coming from behind her. So I want to find a sky that allows that sun flare to still come through. And I can also adjust that a little bit in the final editing of the image. We'll see as we go. So right now I'm just trying on different skies on the image to find one that I really like. You can see that one allows a little bit more of the flare to come through. Ah, there we go. I really like how the flare is coming through here in the image and the clouds look very natural. Um, Photoshop tool has done a very good job of masking around the cars and we're going to go ahead and use this sky. You can just go ahead and click out of there and now you can make some fine tune adjustments to the image. So as you can see we can shift the edge of the sky overlay by moving this slider. If we move this all the way to 100, you can see it doesn't do as good of a job with the masking around the cars. And if we move it all the way to zero, the sky does fade quite a bit up from the cars. And this is a great look as well. Very natural. Um, and you can see that the masking is very good around the cars. I think we're going to go somewhere in the middle here. So we'll have like a nice amount of sun flare coming through, and this looks very natural. You can also change the brightness of the actual overlay. You can see, we can go all the way down, make the sky very dark, all the way up, make it very bright, and fine tune this to your taste. And you can also change the temperature uh, warmer or cooler within this tool. So if you want to make the sky a little warmer, a little cooler, kind of liking a little to the warm warmth. Okay, and you can also change the scale of the overlay itself. So if you wanted some of these clouds to be bigger, you can go ahead and increase that scale. You'll see it resizes the overlay. We're going to go ahead and put it back to 100.
We're going to go ahead and put it back to right here, about 103. You can also flip the cloud overlay if you like that better. And then foreground adjustments. If you open this tab, you can change the blending mode to screen or multiply. You can try each one to see if it makes a change in the image. As you can see, when I put it to screen, we're getting this white, hazy area over her skin. So we're going to go back to multiply. That's correct. You can also change the lighting adjustment here. This changes the lighting just on the foreground area that was masked off originally. You can also play with the color adjustment of the foreground. Preview on, your cloud before and after. Okay, your output could be a duplicate layer or new layers. I do like to use the new layers feature so that I can add some additional adjustments after the image is done. So go ahead and click OK. That's going to apply the cloud to your image. As you can see, here's the image. And it's also created a group here for some of the things that you did to the image inside the tool. So you can go ahead and turn the brightness on or off. You can turn the temperature on or off. Uh, here is your mask, which you can adjust a little bit more if you like another mask for the foreground lighting. You can also adjust the foreground color to your liking. These masks are very easy to use. Uh, so here for the sky you see everything in black is concealed, everything in white is revealed, meaning that the cloud is showing up. Wherever you see the white is where the cloud shows up, the, cl the cloud overlay. If you want to take a little bit more of the cloud off, you can go ahead and highlight this mask Take your brush, make sure you have black, and then we can go ahead here, adjust the opacity down to about 30 to 40 percent is where I usually like it. I've chosen a large soft brush. We can go ahead, you'll see as I brush, more of the cloud will be taken off of the image where I like it. You can switch this back to white to bring the cloud back. And here's where you can do your fine adjustment if you need to. You want to see more of the sun flare coming through, go ahead and switch the brush to black. Tap a little bit more to make that brighter. What that's doing is it's taking that cloud overlay off of your image by using the black brush. And that's it. Super easy sky replacement using the new sky replacement tool in Photoshop. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on using the new sky replacement tool in Photoshop. If you have any additional questions, feel free to post them in the Pretty Presets and Actions group on Facebook. See you there. Thanks.